Lhasa softball sensational season sadly ended Friday in the by district playoffs. But that doesn't mean we still can't feature the Raptors star senior. Very fitting that the sun has popped out here on this gloomy day because Sophie's son, you are our newest Abacus Athlete of the Week. Congratulations. Every time she steps on the field, she makes a difference. Um, just an all-around great athlete, great student, great person just to have on the team. Let's read through these stats. 1,000 fielding percentage, no errors all season, 759 batting average, slugging over 2,000, 41 runs batted in, eight home runs and no strikeouts. Are you human? I think I am human, yes, from what I know. Honestly, it's not It's not about coaching her, it's about putting her where we need her in the lineup and just letting her lead the team. What kind of work have you put in to be able to achieve those kinds of numbers and obviously gain the respect of your team and coaching staff in the process? So I've been playing select softball since I was nine years old. And since I started, I practiced pretty much every day for probably an hour. Her humility makes her special, um, just really leading the team by example. You're committed to play softball at Harvard. Can you walk us through how that decision came about, the process, and then what you plan on studying mm -hmm. over on the East Coast? I ended up taking an, an unofficial visit where I got to really see the team as well as learn more about the academic and athletic culture, and I thought that it was just a really great fit. I've always been more geared towards STEM, so I'm currently planning on study, studying neuroscience, but Harvard also lets you experiment a little bit more with what you want to do, so I'm definitely going to be looking for other things that I'm interested in. That's awesome. I think when people hear Harvard, they, they lose, they go crazy. They're like, Harvard, oh my goodness. When you found out that it would all work out and you'd be able to attend Harvard to play the sport you love and to get a great education, how excited were you? I'm definitely very, very, very excited. Ever since I was a little kid, coaches are always asking, do you want to play in college, or if so, what are your dream schools? And for me, Harvard was always at the top of the list. So when I really got that call, I think even my parents can attest to it. I was jumping up and down, super, super excited. Who's been your inspiration? Why the love for this sport? If there is one person, I say, honestly, my, my dad. He, whenever any sport that he played, he always took it very seriously, and he was always researching and always thinking about it. Um, and he's helped me a lot as well. So I definitely take a lot of inspiration from him, just like working as hard as I do. Sophie's son, I guess my last question for you, I'll leave you with this. When you turn 35, are you running for president? Well, maybe, and if I make it, I'll be sure to invite you. Oh, there we go. There we go. Sophie Sutter, Abacus, Athlete of the Week. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Hey, Sophie, congrats again. Now, you know we're always looking for our next Abacus Athlete of the Week, so if you do know someone who is not only good in his or her sport, but more importantly, great in the classroom, and involved in after-school activities, please send us an email at sports at kview.com.